Hi everyone. First off, we're going to talk to Hambly, and they produce the great GTM Coupe. And we're here with Derek. Hello. Hi, Derek. Tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here, because obviously people know GTM as a brand that's gone on for a lot of years, but this is where it all started, wasn't it? This is, yes, this is the, um, well, the, the more, more modern version of the 13-inch the wheel version of the 10-inch wheel car that first okay. came out in 1967. Uh, are they the, were they called Heary ones, the original ones? The very, very first ones were called Cox. Oh, Cox, okay. And then Heary took them over and built a few, about 100, and then... Um, Peter and Paddy took over as GTM, GTM yep. and then became GTM Engineering and made about 300 of these in, oh, okay. in the day. And um, what are you offering now? Are you still offering a kit ready to go? Um, I haven't quite got that far yet. We've got the moulds. We've built this car complete using the moulds we've got and the jigs and things. But we, we haven't actually got together a kit yet. So mainly the business is supplying spare parts to oh, okay. existing cars and replacement parts. And I suppose with the number of people out there, there's a, someone's always going to need a, a, a front or a back end or a door or, or those kind of bits. Yes, and mainly the, the, because the, the floor pan is actually steel, thin sheet steel, it, it goes rusty eventually. <sighs> Just because it's a kit car, they still rust, don't they? They like <laughs> yes. the steel, yeah. Yeah, so it's floor pans we do mainly. Oh, okay. And um, But you're looking in the future to try and create the kit again and oh yes yeah. yes yes and indeed the other car we do is a like i realized that classic mini using classic mini bits as a donor is probably not the brightest of ideas these days indeed for other clap mini clap kits people are actually buying old kits to rebuild new minis and, and it's not special for um um for mini kits it, no. even the ford kit stuff with sierra base it's incredible now that people are saying unfinished kits are becoming big money for um, donors for uh, old classic cars. Yes, escorts so, and things, yeah. yes. So are you looking to develop it for, for different underpinnings? Yes, the yeah. Fiesta. Oh, okay. And we've got the, the prototype, which I use for racing. There's a few pictures of it over there. You, and then, uh, yes, that's probably a better way to go. Oh, okay. And what, so that would suit the back end. And the front end, would that be something bespoke then? Because originally it had a mini subframe at the front, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, we make the little steel space frames that replace the mini subframe that then take the Fiesta running gear. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Really. And any idea when you might have that kit ready to, to go? What, as a kit? Yes. <laughs> ah. little, it's a future project, is it? Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, we've, we've got the prototype running and we're, we're racing that. And uh, so, um, yes, it, it'll happen probably if there's people interested in buying it, of course. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? There is, yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Derek. That's been really informative, so I really appreciate that one. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.